Kobe and Vanessa Bryant's decades-long love story suddenly came to a tragic end when the NBA legend died on January 26, 2020. Despite the heartbreaking way in which their relationship ended, they were one of the couples in the spotlight who knew how to overcome the lows in their marriage. What was the key to their successful relationship? What plans did they have for the future? Keep watching to find out about the love story of Kobe and Vanessa Bryant that ended way too soon. In November 2019, they'd just celebrated the 20th anniversary of when they met. In a tribute tweet, Shaquille O'Neal said that Kobe Bryant was so much more than an athlete as he was a family man. And that's true because he loved his five girls more than anything. And besides being a legend to his fans, he was also a legend to his wife and daughters. Kobe was the one that was all over the news while his wife Vanessa stayed away from the spotlight. Let me tell you how this relationship with a tragic end started. Kobe Bryant met Vanessa Lane when she was working as a background model on the set of a Snoop Dogg music video. And Kobe was in the building because, at the time, he fancied a side career as a rapper. Back then, he was 21, and even though he was just rising as a star in the world of basketball, he already was famous. Meanwhile, she was only 17 and was still a senior in high school. So obviously, the news that one of the students was dating an LA Lakers star player sent shockwaves through the campus and gave Vanessa some unwanted attention. According to the Los Angeles Times, a TV helicopter was seen flying over the school in an attempt to get images of the then high school student and her famous boyfriend. To get some information about the beautiful brunette who stole Kobe's heart, the Times even interviewed some of her classmates. One of the students said that Kobe was sending flowers and stuff to some chick. Allegedly, Vanessa was even forced to skip her prom and finish her education through homeschooling because of all the attention surrounding her and the relationship. But all the high school gossip was nothing compared to what happened when Kobe and Vanessa decided to get married. And they did that very soon because they were engaged six months after they met in November 1999. Vanessa was only 18 at the time while Kobe was 22. And because they were so young, many people thought that their relationship wouldn't work from the start. But the couple proved that they were serious about their lifelong commitment, and in 2001, they got married. They were so into each other that Vanessa even got over her fear of flying for the man. Even though the two were madly in love, not everyone was happy for the couple. Vanessa and Kobe got married on April 18, 2001, in California in a low-key ceremony. They chose not to sign a prenup because, according to her cousin, Kobe loved Vanessa too much to sign one. Bryant's family wasn't too happy with the quick wedding, and that's why the ceremony wasn't attended by his parents or his two sisters. And because the whole thing was so low-key, Kobe's longtime advisor and agent and his Lakers teammates also skipped the wedding. Reportedly, Bryant's parents were against the marriage for a few reasons. One of them being the fact that they had a problem with him marrying so young. Another one was that his father didn't like the fact that Vanessa wasn't African American. Because of this disagreement, the family was estranged for over two years and only the birth of the couple's first daughter, Natalia Diamante, in January 2003 brought them back together. Natalia turned 17 just days before her father's death and took after his athleticism, but with a skillful preference for volleyball. The Bryant family didn't live in peace for long, though. In the summer of 2003, Kobe was arrested in connection with an investigation of a sexual assault claim made by a 19-year-old hotel employee. Through the whole thing, Vanessa was by his side, even though he admitted to being unfaithful. Kobe appeared in a televised news conference with his wife looking defeated, where he told her, while crying and holding her hand, You're my backbone, you're a blessing, you're a piece of my heart, you're the air that I breathe, and you're the strongest person I know. And I'm so sorry for having to put you through this, and having to put our family through this. He also publicly admitted that he was sitting there furious and disgusted at himself for making the mistake of adultery. In 2004, the charges were dropped when the victim refused to testify. The scandal affected Vanessa's life big time. In the Showtime documentary, Kobe Bryant's Muse, Kobe revealed that Vanessa had been pregnant but suffered a miscarriage in early 2005. He blamed himself for the loss, saying that Vanessa was going through too much stress connected to the assault allegations. 
He said that they should be building a family, and because of his mistake and the tough year they had, they lost a baby. But in May 2006, the Bryants were blessed with their second daughter, Gianna. Unfortunately, that blessing who shared her father's love for basketball was taken way too soon at just 13 years old together with her dad. Another low point in their marriage, when it seemed that it was all over, came in December 2011 when Vanessa Bryant filed for divorce. She was supposed to get half of her husband's fortune and the couple requested joint custody of their daughters. Fate decided that it wasn't time for them to separate though, because in 2013 they called off the divorce proceedings and decided to stay together. On her Instagram, Vanessa wrote that they were looking forward to their future together. In December 2016, the couple had their third daughter, Bianca Bella, and in June 2019, they welcomed their fourth daughter, Capri Kobe. The thing is that in March 2019, Kobe said in an interview that he was in for another child, and he was sure that Vanessa would like a boy so he could be mama's boy forever. Kobe definitely admired his wife as a mom because on Mother's Day he shared a beautiful message for her. And just 18 days before his death, in a podcast, he revealed that the secret to keeping their marriage strong through all the ups and downs was commitment and having the determination to work through things. The secrets that he revealed must have been true, because eight weeks before the tragic helicopter crash, Kobe and Vanessa celebrated the 20th anniversary of their first meeting. And to celebrate it in an old-school way, he took her on a date to Disneyland. You could see that family was very important for Kobe, because his Instagram feed was filled with birthday messages, holiday snaps, and photos of his girls. And according to his last interview, since his retirement, he was on school pickup duty at 2 p.m., every day. Right now, I don't think anyone can imagine what Vanessa Bryant and her family are going through. Obviously, she has a huge team of supporters in these difficult times. I really hope she will find the strength to move forward, because she's already shown that she knows what it means to be strong in difficult times. What do you think of Kobe and Vanessa Bryant's relationship? Leave your thoughts in the comments and subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with Curiosips. See you.